For this recipe, we're going to be using some nice um, Escalopsis salmon with some curried leeks. The curried leeks is a nice way to utilize, again, in-season leeks and the curry powder or the madras curry powder is a wonderful flavor enhancer that really balances well with the delicate flavors of the fish. So let's take a look at some of our ingredients. So it's a nice simple one this. We've only got, you know, one leek there. We've got an escalop of salmon. We've taken the skin off the salmon or we've asked our fishmonger or our fish counter at the supermarket to take the, the skin off the salmon for us. We've got a little touch of butter. We've got a double cream. We've got a madras curry powder. And the only thing that's missing from there is just a tablespoon of water, which we're going to add later on as we're cooking. So to start the process, we're going to start by shredding our leeks down and getting them washed. So we take our leeks and again, we're just using the white of the leek for this process. Nice and sweet, tons of sugar in there, which is really going to benefit the dish well. So I'm going to take the, just the very, very root off the bottom of the leek, texture changes slightly, and then with a nice sharp knife, completely up to you how we shred them. You can half the leek and shred them from there. I'm going to shred the whole leek. And again, I'm just going to go through I'm going to cut or slice at a slight angle. It elongates the leek and just makes it slightly more textural in the actual dish itself when it's finished. And again, whenever you're using leeks, it really is crucially important to really wash your leeks well. If you don't wash your leeks well, you're always going to get a horrible remnants of grit in the dish. I'm going to take these leeks now, I'm just going to rinse them under cold water and really make sure I get rid of all that grit. So our leeks now, they're nice and washed, removed all the grit from the leeks. Just give them a quite drain, you know, a little drain, get off some of the excess water, make sure they're fairly dry before they go into the pan. So to start the process, we're going to take one of our 10 gram knobs of butter and we're going to pop that into our lightly warmed pan. And this time what we're looking for is that butter just to start foaming. We don't want to burn the butter in that pan. If the butter burns, it's absolutely useless, we need to start again. We're looking for the butter to go to a nice foaming stage. When it comes to temperature, it will start to foam very gently. When it starts to foam, we're going to pop the leeks in there and we're going to sweat those leeks off. And these leeks are going to take maybe three to four minutes, maybe even a little bit longer, depending on how fine you shred your leeks, just to sweat down. And what we're doing in the sweating process is we're eradicating all the water that's in those leeks and we're getting to the very base flavor that's in the leeks, which is a lovely kind of sweet, flavour that's really going to hyphenate with the curry powder wonderfully well. So I'm going to pop the leeks into the pan. At this stage I just like to keep the pan moving. And obviously the more heat you show those leeks the more they start to wilt, which is what we're looking for at this stage. I'm just going to let them slowly almost stew away in that heat for, as I say, three to four minutes, maybe a little bit longer if you've not shredded them down just as fine. So now my leeks are nicely stewed down. And again, I can just take one of those leeks and they're nice and limp. And you can even taste one of those leeks if you want at this stage. So the next ingredients we're going to add in there is just round about a tablespoon of the mild Madras curry powder. Of course, you get, you know, the strong curry powder and you get the kind of more mild curry powder. And all Madras curry powder is, it's a combination of different herbs and spices. And of course, you can find the Madras curry powder and all your spice shelves at the supermarket. So I'm just going to stir those spices in. And you get that immediate, again, wonderful flavor that comes off that pan and the color. To just to get those spices to incorporate and those leeks just to cook down a little touch more, I take a tablespoon of water just to damp the pan and then just sweat those leeks off in that water until it evaporates. Now it's evaporated, we can add our cream. The cream goes in. I'm going to turn that pan back up to a simmer. And when we simmer that pan, I don't want to boil it too hard because if I boil that cream too hard, what's going to happen is, you know, the cream's going to split and we're going to end up with a not so appealing looking sauce at the end. All we're looking for that cream to do is just simmer very gently. As it simmers, the sauce will naturally thicken. So we don't need to put any flour in there. We don't need any thickening agents. Just a nice, gentle boil. And what the cream does is it catches all those flavors and it brings everything together. So now our sauce is reduced down. That seems cream's just gently simmered. 
for around about two to three minutes and you can see now that sauce has started to thicken up it's taken almost of a, a glazed consistency to those leeks so now we can just pop that to the side and then we can get on with concentrating on cooking our salmon to cook the salmon i'm going to take a little touch of oil in a gently warm pan for the fish i don't want the pan to be too hot if the pan's too hot you're going to overset the protein which means we're going to overcook the fish so whenever we're cooking fish very delicate very soft temperatures so that pan should be at a nice warm temperature. We don't want it too cold, we don't want it too hot. And all I'm going to do is put maybe a tablespoon of oil in there and I'm going to take half the quantity of the butter and I'm going to pop that into the pan and I'm going to wait on that butter coming to a foam again before we place the fish in there. So while we're waiting on our pan coming to temperature, we're just going to quickly season our salmon with a touch of salt. Whenever we season, we always season from a height and that guarantees you a nice even distribution of the salt as opposed to if I season very very closely with the salt the salt's going to get isolated spots so we always drop the salt from a height we can see now that our pan's come up to a nice temperature our butter's starting to foam which is an indication that the pan's ready to get the fish into it so we're going to take our fish and we're going to pop it in there non-skin side down first and that pan shouldn't be too aggressive. If the pan's too aggressive and it's billowing smoke everywhere and you're fighting with the pan to get the fish in there, it's far too hot. Push the pan to the side and just let it cool down slightly before we put the fish in there. So now at this stage, we're going to colour the fish for around about two to three minutes on this side. We're going to turn the fish for another two to three minutes and continue the cooking process from there. So my salmon has been colouring on the first side and it's been in now for around about two to three minutes. You can start to see the indications that the fish is cooking. The colour starts to move up the fish and it starts to move in. You're going to see that the proteins are setting. This is the indication that we're looking for, that the fish is ready to turn over for the finishing stage of cooking. So I'm going to take my fish slice and carefully, because the protein is very, very soft in salmon, just turn your salmon over and you can see again, you've got that wonderful kind of caramel colour on the outside of the fish. And it's round about this time that I turn the salmon, that'll turn the leeks back on just to warm up as well. So I'm bringing the two components together when I'm ready to plate up. So our salmon now is cooked. It's been cooking on the underside for two to three minutes. A good way to check is I just like to give it a wee pinch and it should be nice and firm when you give it a pinch. We popped our leeks back on to warm up. So our leeks are now nice and warm, ready to go. So now the last thing we need to do is bring everything together on the plate. So to plate up, I'm just gonna take a nice spoonful of the leeks and we're just gonna pop them on the plate. Our salmon, we can take our fish slice and again, very delicately, just lift the salmon out and we're going to place that with our leeks on the plate. A wedge of lemon and some parsley to serve. So there we go, there's our escalopa salmon with the curried cream leeks.